Good morning, Capricorn. I hope you can hear the beautiful sounds of the birds in the background. I hope you're well. Welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess. This is your reading for the second half of March, March 16th through to the, too many cards there, through to the end of March. It is a general reading, so it may or may not, the cards are just jumping all over the shop. It may or may not resonate with you. Just take or leave whatever does resonate. Some parts of the reading may resonate. So yeah, I think it's it's kind of up to you. But let's get straight into it, Capricorn. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for the beautiful Capricorn? Okay, five of wands crossed by the seven of wands. Okay, fool at the base, the knight of swords. Recent past the star card. Ooh, the ace of cups coming up in the near future. That's nice. We have, you're not going to see this row, but we have the nine of pentacles coming in as you. Nice. Yep. The six of cups as the, as the energies around you. What you want. Yep. And is the nine of cups. And the outcome we have the six of swords. Okay, very interesting, Capricorn. And I'm just going to pull a card, <coughs> sorry, from the universe with these animal spirit cards. Card for Capricorn, message for Capricorn. The bee, beautiful. Okay, little buzzy bee. Little buzzy bee. Now, what clarifies? I want just one clarifier for that five of wands energy. I'm just going to clarify some of these cards and we'll get stuck into it, Capricorn. So the ten of wands, gosh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is going on with you, Capricorn? Definitely, definitely a new start here on the cards for you. Coming in quite fast, actually. Hmm, Okay. Yeah, you're wanting to get yourself out of this situation pretty quickly, I would say. Just look at that, clarify for that Six of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Six of Swords, the Ten. Oh, wow, beautiful, nice ending, the Ten of Cups. All right, let's get started here, Capricorn. <coughs> so, so I've got a bit of a, a frog in my throat this morning. I might just... grab a little glass of water now you have here the five of wands and the ten of wands so i feel like the issue you've got here is with your wands energy it's with your fire energy with your motivation with your drive i think you just with this energy of the ten of wands and the five of cups i think that you've just kind of <laughs> i feel like you've had enough with the situation you're kind of exhausted from fighting and struggling and the conflict that's been going on with this person or situation. And it's just like t enough. Uh, I just can't do this anymore. I can't take this on anymore. And so it could be feelings of feeling burnt out, exhaustion, just, you know, just a lot of uh, arguments, petty arguments or quarrels. And... You know, I think that you've been taking on too much, Capricorn, way too much. And you're crossed by this Seven of Wands, which is kind of saying, you know, you needed to sort of st stand up for yourself a bit more. You've been struggling to say no, really is what this is saying. You've been taking on too much and struggling to be able to defend yourself against because I feel like you just, your reserves, your energy reserves or your... Your reserves are low, basically. You just don't have as much strength as you normally would have or would be able to draw upon to be able to either kind of fight back or defend yourself within a situation or just turn around and go, no, I can't do this. So you're struggling with that is what these cards are saying. In the recent past, we have the star card. So it felt like things were going really well. I felt like 
you know, you did have heaps of energy. You were being replenished in a situation and it felt like everything was kind of all aligned and divinely guided. And then everything, suddenly I feel like you kind of jumped into that situation a little bit too far to the point where you're now struggling to get out. You gave too much of yourself, basically. On the surface, it seems like there's a new beginning on offer here with the full card. It seems like you've just got to the point where you've gone, I can't do this anymore. I need a new start. I need a new beginning with whatever this situation person is. You're just like, I, I just, yeah, exactly. I can't do this anymore. So there's very much a, no, I can't do this. But deep down, these are the energies at the base of the issue that you may or may not be aware of. You are trying to get out of this situation really, really fast, but there's something that's still binding you to it. You're still feeling a little bit stuck. There's something that's still hooking you to this situation. So this might be some sort of subconscious thought pattern. Excuse me, Capricorn. <coughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Was, um, this might be, I feel like, the, I mean, with this Eight of Swords energy, this is very much your thoughts, okay? This is where you've, there's rigidity in thinking here. But I'm feeling very much this is a subconscious belief of thinking you don't, again, I just get this feeling you don't have the strength or the ability to get out of this situation, but you want to get out of it faster you don't have anything left so I think that we need to kind of have a look at that eight of swords energy because something subconsciously is keeping you here or, or making you feel a little bit stuck still even though there is this positive new fresh energy coming forward so I feel like you will resolve this because the thing with that eight of swords is that that figure can very easily release herself from those binds this is a self-imposed uh, stuckness if that for want of a better word really so I feel like there's a bit of inner conflict going on with this between two sides of you a side where you've I, I feel like subconsciously definitely that with that knight of swords it's wanting to break free from that from that aid of swords energy and so I feel like that you will definitely do that so it's releasing yourself from an old pattern basically which is really positive and what you're wanting like uh, this is you in the situation the nine of pentacles and this is great for you this is beautiful earth energy Capricorn and this is really wanting independence and especially financial independence and to actually be feeling happy to be on your own for a while not wanting to need others or to have to even work with others it's really wanting your own space and and to be able to be in control of what it is that you're working on or creating here and to feel that sense of fulfillment rather than a sense that you're fighting or struggling with somebody and so I think the only way that you're thinking that you can do that at the moment is to be on your own or be in your own space at least but the situation, the energies around you that you may or may not be aware of is the Six of Cups and the Four of, of Swords. So I'm just going to look at these for a second, Capricorn. But definitely with that Four of Swords, it's saying you need to take a break. You need to take a break or a rest with whatever this energy or conflict or chaos that's been thrown at you that you're struggling with. You need to take some sort of respite from that and that's why I think that it's really good that there's this energy around you of that nine of pentacles I think you know what it is that you need to be doing okay you know what it is that you want and you're wanting to extricate yourself from someone else's drama or all the drama and chaos around you but you need to kind of take a rest here with that four of swords this could also be health related so it could be you know in terms of stress if it was stress or or there was just a lot going on this could be a good night's sleep is needed or just something like meditation contemplation a bath there's you need the space to be able to shift your perspective on this because I feel like there is a shift of perspective 
but you definitely need a break from this energy that's been thrown at you. Now we have that six of cups energy, which might mean a return home. It might, I'm just getting for some of you, it might mean a breakaway or just a homestay, like spending some time at home where you can just, so for some of you, this might just be that you've been in some sort of recovery and you need some time where you're in a safe place where you're feeling nurtured and loved. I mean, this six of cups energy has got that beautiful childhood nostalgia when I'm getting this energy of a mother nurturing her child and this is the energy, whether that was your relationship with your mother or not, this is the energy that you need to be in. So you need to be in a safe place in your within your house, within your home. So, yeah, take a couple of days off work or take a break or, yeah, but I don't feel like you need to go anywhere. You just need to stay home and rest and get someone to look after you if they're there. But, you know, you know I think you'd be happy on your own. Your hopes and fears is the nine of cups. I, I think that you just want everything in order. You don't, chaos and all that conflict does not suit you. You like everything, your emotional world to be in order. And I think that this is what you're really pushing towards and you're happy to actually be on your own and to find that fulfillment within yourself, not looking for it within other with other people. So I feel like, you know, this is a really powerful withdrawing of your energy from conflict, external conflict around you, Capricorn. And so the near future <laughs> is the Ace of Cups, which is beautiful. This is, here's your replenishment, here's your renewal, here's the love that you've been needing. This is the antidote to this situation here that has been occurring, all that stress and conflict, whatever you've been fighting and struggling against, exhaustion, it might be ill health, here comes the renewal, here comes the cup. It's a new beginning. So you're seeing a new beginning. Uh, you're feeling the new beginning here, but deep down there's something that you're still struggling with, but it's coming through, it's coming. in Very soon you're going to feel totally renewed with this. So a good rest this is also just the pure energy of love as well and there's a lot of healing uh, associated with this Ace of Cups. So there's this beautiful new energy coming in that's going to make you be feeling it, uh, restored, <laughs> restored and feeling good again, Capricorn. So if you've been feeling, yeah, if there's been conflict in a relationship or you've just been taking on too much of a burden, it's time to let that go and restore so as the outcome, we have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords, which is beautiful. It's exactly what you need and what you want. You're going to get that. In fact, you're going to get that Nine of Cups, but better. You're going to end up with the Ten of Cups, which means there's people coming on board with you as well. It's not just you on your own. There's loved ones that are here to support you as well within this journey. So, you know, I feel like you're moving to a much better place, a much better headspace. You're going to be feeling a lot clearer and happier. There's going to be joy here. You, there could be relocation. So this could mean when you, I feel like you're turning you turning away from something you've decided to to when you turn away from that conflict. This six of swords is. You know, it could be wanting to leave a job. It could be moving a house. There might be conflicts with the neighbours. It could be just, you know, moving overseas as some kind of relocation. It could just be moving to a better space mentally as well, whatever it is. But you can see that both of these figures have got their families that are coming along and they're, the families and the loved ones are actually coming with them. And so there's the Ten of Cups is the fulfilment, the happily ever after kind of card you are just going to be feeling so much better. I mean, it's kind of going, it's almost like the complete opposite energy of what you're experiencing at this moment. So I feel like by saying, finding the ability to actually say no to that conflict and taking on that burden is going to bring you so much long-term joy and happiness. It's something that you've been needing to say for a long time, Capricorn. So as a message from the universe, you have the bee, which is the buzzy little bees like our worker energy here. It's an air, it, it, it's the element of air, that upward pointing triangle with the line through it. And so it's basically saying you've been working really hard at this 
And I feel like there's been a lot going through your mind, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I feel like the universe is saying, yeah, you have had a lot on your plate, so acknowledge that. Acknowledge that. There has been a lot to think about. There's been a lot happening. So it's not just... There's been a lot thrown at you. So, yeah, there's acknowledgement from the universe here. I'm going to pull another card, actually, for you, Capricorn. Another card from the universe around this, from spirits, spiritual guides. One last card for Capricorn. Yeah, elephant, beautiful. This is the fire energy. <laughs> this is the fire energy that is drained. The fire energy that this is different to the fire energy that you are having the issue with, with in this present situation where you're feeling you, you're losing your motivation, you're losing your drive, you're feeling burnt out. This is Ganesh coming in the elephant, which is fire energy. That upward pointing triangle is the fire and elephant comes in and clears the path, clears all obstacles. And so it's a message from the universe saying when you're feeling like you can't get yourself out of the situation, you can't quite say no or you can't work out the way, the ans the energy is there from that's coming through very loud and clear that things are going to be cleared out, things are going to be sorted out for you, Capricorn. So and the message with this is that, yeah, you may have been hurt along the way or you might have suffered some sort of suffered along the way some sort of setback or this could be related to health as well or but you're coming out stronger and it's actually the important message with this elephant is it's your own light the light that your own fire that's guiding the way that guiding the path here and it's only illuminating a short a small part of the path so it may not feel like you're seeing everything at once but you are seeing a way out of this and the important message is that when you thought that you didn't have that fire to be able to or that energy or that motivation to get out of the situation they're saying this is actually coming from you so trust your intuition here and trust spirit because spirit is helping you so i hope that makes sense capricorn if you'd like to hear more please like subscribe or leave a comment otherwise take care see you next time bye